DFR in listen only mode. Okie doke, you should be able to see at this point, I believe, you can see slides. Can you see slides? And can you hear me? Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting a yes. All right, so let's do this. Let's do, if you can hear me, say, uh, just put uh, audio. If you can see slides where it says Knight Scalper, a better way to trade, just type in the slide. All right, cool. So it looks like everything's working. All right. So I'm going to give two more minutes to the people that don't have watches or that decide to have watches but decide to not look at them. And uh, we'll get started here in about two minutes, two minutes and counting. How'd you guys, how did you guys trade today? Good, bad, ugly, different? Had a nice, had a Nice big gap up this morning, good little pro gap. Bonds sold off like crazy, which was good. Crude oil had a massive move to the high side. You had also a little bit of a move in the gold market. Not much, but a little bit. It's starting to roll over. So you got some good things going on. Glad to get short gold. Yep, yep, yep. We'll see in the next few days. Yep. Good, good move in bonds and crude today. Also, the, the Apple position's doing well. It's creeping up on us, so that's all. That's all good stuff. All right, sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. All right, here we go. All right, so welcome to this webinar. I'm going to be introducing to you Bill from Not Scalper, and it's a better way to trade. So before I start, let me give you a blanket disclaimer here really quickly. So um, anytime that you are looking at any type of trading or investing information or strategies or opportunities, it is. It comes with a high degree of risk. Okay, past performance is not indicative of future returns, and um, you know, you should always take all the information that you're given and do your own due diligence. Uh, trading is very risky if you know what you're doing, and trading is even more risky if you don't know what you're doing. So um, always only trade with discretionary funds that you can afford to lose that will not change your lifestyle. If you're trading your retirement account and you got, you know, twenty thousand dollars in a retirement account. And you're trying to t turn it into two million, do yourself a favor and give it to somebody because it'll be a lot less painful. So that is my uh, risk disclaimer. Are we all on the same page? We are all big boys and big girls, and we understand that this is a risky, high leverage business that we do, uh, either as a hobby or as a business or as a profession, depending on what stage you're in. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to introduce uh, to you Bill, Night Scalper. And Bill's got a, a website that they run called nightscalper.com. And um, he came down here to the back cave and spent a couple days with some of his team members, and he was showing me what they do in the the Globex after hours markets on the S and P. Now I took his information on the S and P, and I just traded the Dow because you know I trade more Dow than I do S and P, and it was interesting. His strategy was pretty cool, interesting, different than most things out there. They don't trade. I'm not going to say they don't trade intraday, but they trade more. They're better traders in the night session than they are the day session, for several different reasons. He's going to tell you on this on this presentation. For one, there's no HFTs, no high-frequency trade algorithms that you have to compete with. There are no program buying and program selling that you have to deal with in the U.S. market. And he's going to talk about the other markets. He's going to talk about you know Asia and Europe and all that stuff. And you're going to learn a lot of information. So make sure you take notes. We are recording it. Sometimes the recording goes well. Sometimes they don't. It just depends on the technology uh, on that evening or that during the day. So uh, grab you a piece of paper and a pencil and take good notes. Um, I will tell you that uh, I did two of the trades while he was here at the house. One of the trades didn't work for me, but the other trade did work for me, and it was all based upon uh, his reversal times and based upon the observations that he'd say, hey, all right, so if the market goes up at 1030, it'll usually sell back off, and it's usually good for X amount of points. And then we went off to lunch to a little, a little restaurant here called Wallace Station, and then I closed it out on 
oh, I tried to close it out on my smartphone on my iPhone 5, and it wouldn't close out. Funny story, like I think I was short. Yeah, I was short four contracts, and then I closed out some of them, and then I got long, and then I was trying to close them again, so I ended up calling Kelly. So it was one of Kelly's first trades because I called her from the restaurant going, hey, just do me a favor. Walk over to my trade station. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of buttons. Let me show you which button you need to press. Okay, and then I said, all right, now make sure everything's flattened. And she was a little apprehensive because she never did a trade like that, and I was walking her through it on the phone. But everything worked out just fine. Everything worked out just fine. So, um, um, Bill, my friend, it is all yours. Um, good luck. Well, thank you, Hubert. And uh, I will tell some of you folks that uh, if you've never seen the Bat Cave or uh, the part of Kentucky, Lexington, where uh, Hubert lives, it is beautiful country. And I am jealous of his uh, Bat Cave. I've got to get one of my own here very soon. That's going to be one of my next projects. And I uh, hope everyone had a good day today, uh, one of those first of the month rallies that we're often seeing. And uh, window dressing, as uh, we folks who've been in the business a while call it. And uh, as the slide in the bio shows, I've been in the business since 1977. And that's uh, 36 years. And when I say that, it really makes me feel old. And I've, I've seen and hopefully learned a lot in this business. And uh, one thing I do know, as many of you uh, I'm sure understand and know, I've always learned to uh, expect the unexpected in this business. And I had the uh, chance to talk and visit with one of my good friends who I kind of grew up with in the business. We started Merrill together. This was just a couple of days ago, and we were talking about these uh, interest rates. And I don't know how many of you remember uh, the 80s when we had yields in the uh, 15, 16, 17 percent uh, range. And, uh, you know, if you told me one day we would see a one and a half, 1.6, 1.7, 10 year bond, and uh, I would have said that's ridiculous, uh, you know, or zero percent real interest rates, or three and a half percent mortgage rates. I uh, just, you know, it's amazing what we're seeing in these markets these days. And, uh, you know, we're also talking about, you know, these international markets and the global markets. And, you know, now if you don't uh, understand these international markets and what's taking place, uh, for example, the data out of China last night, the uh, Chinese PMI it was, uh, you know, in the news wherever you looked. It was on CNBC and Bloomberg and uh, just about everywhere you, you read business news, they talked about China's PMI and have it improved, and that's what uh, actually got the markets going last night. And there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, we were trading in the 84, 80, 84 and a half, I think, range, maybe almost 85. When that news came out, the S&P shot up to 88 and a half. So the point I'm making is, is that uh, these international markets, which I think all of you will agree, are uh, now linked and tied. We're not just a market unto ourselves and what happens in the U.S. affects China and what, what affects uh, China can affect Europe. And so that's uh, what we're dealing with these days. And if you don't understand the 24-hour market, you're at a huge disadvantage. We were uh, also talking about um, Irrational exuberance. I don't know how many of you uh, remember that term. Uh, while we were telling war stories with my fellow trader, and this is a guy who goes back with me to the you know the early days of trading in the Globex, and I'll talk a little bit about the Globex. As most of you may or may not know, uh, the Globex was the grandfather of electronic trading. It was the original platform. And if you've been around a while, uh, you probably know that this uh, market's only existed since the early 90s. And of course, there wasn't uh, a place for us to get news as we can today. We didn't know about uh, these kind of events. We didn't have anyone to teach us. There, weren't, uh, there wasn't any uh, instruction or education. There weren't any books or pamphlets or manuals for us to read. There was just you know us and the uh, what they called the Globex terminal. And in those days, a Globex terminal, ladies and gentlemen, unlike today, you had to have a Globex terminal in order to put orders in. They were rather expensive to obtain. You had to uh, you know, file for it with the 
futures exchanges, and there was only you know a handful in the southeast at the time. And this terminal is dedicated to putting in orders in the Globex. It's not like today where if you have a laptop and a couple thousand dollars in your account, you can access these markets. But one night we were up and uh, we stayed up late at night. Of course, we had day jobs. I was um, in those days a money manager, and we stayed up at night trying to learn these markets and understand them. And we thought that they would be a tremendous vehicle for hedging our portfolios. That's how we originally got interested in them. And you know, uh, this uh, friend of mine who was one of the first in the Globex along with me, he had a, a small office with a sofa, and we take turns on that sofa sleeping. And we were long, and and when I say long now, we were long 25 big S and P's. If any of you are familiar with uh, how that animal works, and everything was fine, and we were up a couple, three, four thousand dollars, and we were enjoying ourselves and thinking, okay, we got the hang of this. And then uh, I think a lot of you remember Alan Greenspan, who came out with his now famous irrational exuberance speech. He was uh, speaking to the American Enterprise Institute. I will never forget it. And uh, it's sort of like the, the trigger of the dot-com bubble, if you will. Many of you, I'm sure, can remember that. And uh, that set off a, a string of uh, sell-offs in the international markets. Now today, if uh, we have a central banker or somebody who can affect the market speaking, there's now a website that will tell you where they're speaking and when they're speaking. And so uh, it's a whole different ball game today than it was back in those days. And of course, uh, we spent the next 24 hours trying to work ourselves out of that hole because it was a, a quick and furious sell-off. In those days, those markets were very thin and it didn't take a whole lot to move them. And as I said, that's built over into not only the day market, but markets around the world, as many of you will probably remember. But anyway, as I uh, was about to say, I've seen a lot in my career, and uh, hopefully I've learned a lot. And one of the things that uh, you learn early on, and you know they taught us this at Merrill Lynch, you never promise or guarantee anything. Um, in this business, and so uh, I'm not going to guarantee or promise you anything, but what I do want to do is uh, tell you what I think I feel comfortable saying about our program that uh, I'm very confident in. And I, first of all, I doubt you will meet uh, or you will meet very few people who have followed and traded in this market or the Globex as long as I have. I've traded in this market since the uh, early 90s, and it actually was uh, created in, in the late 80s, early 90s. Again, it was uh, created by Reuters. It was a, a first electronic platform. And at that time, it was to accommodate currency or forex traders who, for the most part, before the electronic platform, they stood around the floor you know, taking orders because you know, the currencies, even, even those days, were a 24-hour market. So now it has uh, grown to something very different, and it's a, a market unto itself. It has its own set of rules and its own set of uh, indicators that we have spent years developing. Also, I think that uh, you will not find a trading program as unique and consistent as the one that uh, we're about to talk about tonight. And this is most important, and if I leave you with anything tonight, even if you don't trade in this market, after hours market or Globex, those terms are interchangeable, understanding this market will make you a better trader and investor. That I can promise you. And, you know, as I said, we try not to promise a whole lot in this business because it's hard to deliver on some of these promises. So how many of you have actually traded in the Globex? Okay, um, someone said two chicken. I will tell you, and I feel very strongly about this, I've been doing this a long time, 
I've taught quite a few people now how to trade in these markets. We have a chat room where we call trades at night on a regular basis. And if you want to learn to trade futures, in my opinion, this is the best place to learn how to trade them. It is a uh, slower market, and it is a more trending market. And as Hubert said earlier, you don't have these high-frequency trading programs that uh, we have during the day that, in my opinion, create a lot of volatility in the marketplace. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you don't have computer buy and sell programs uh, in the Japanese markets that we, that we follow or the DAX in Germany or the Hang Seng. Those markets have their own computer buy and sell programs. But I'm talking about programs uh, uh, computer-wise that can move the ES or the E-mini, the S&Ps at night. And that, by the way, uh, guys and gals, that's the only market that we trade are the S&P E-minis. Now, we look at a lot of other different markets to try to determine direction and find these, uh, our trades. But for the most part, we only trade the S&Ps. The Globex market, as I said, is a much easier market to trade. And I will, uh, as I said, I hate to promise, and I don't normally make promises in this business, but if you want to learn to trade futures, I promise you this is probably the best market for all the reasons I just mentioned to learn to do that. OK, another one of the benefits of trading in the Globex or understanding this market, again, even if you're not going to trade, you know, as we do for, for the uh, uh, profit of it, hopefully, is speculation, uh, in addition to speculation, is the hedging. And we live, as you know, in a global marketplace, 24-hour news, and one uh, recent example would be the tsunami in Japan. You know, a lot of folks went home. I'm sure fat and happy, their portfolios were doing well. And then who could see a, a tsunami like the one that hit Japan that not only affected that country and that region dramatically, but all the world markets. They sold off dramatically and they sold off quickly. And the only place that you could have hedged your portfolio when that kind of event took place is in the Globex or the after hours market where you could go in and uh, you know short the futures and hedge a portfolio. And we teach that in this course. And uh, some numbers are up here that kind of uh, show you how an example of that would work. I'm not going to get into the real specifics of it. But essentially, if you had a $150,000 portfolio and you wanted to hedge it, you would have to use you know, uh, two S&Ps, and that should do the trick. But uh, again, it's going to depend on your portfolio and how volatile it is. But for the most part, that's what you can plan on. So in addition to the uh, users of the Globex, and, and in any trading platform, whether it's the Globex or you're trading in the day market or you're trading options, as many of you know, the difference between an average trader and a successful one is an effective plan. We all know that. And I spent 23 years as a futures trader developing what we call the night scalper trading method. And the components, the four major components of that plan are key market times, proprietary indicators, of course. Now, these Greekisms, that's uh, a name given by my friends, as uh, many of you probably determined by now, I'm a full-blooded Greek. And uh, they're actually signals, they're, they're broad indicators, not to be confused with the proprietary indicators of uh, certain events that take place in the market that can help you uh, manage your way and uh, find trades and setups and directions on the S&Ps. And then, of course, uh, there's not a, a trading plan in the world that's going to work without a money management system. And we harp on that, and we harp on that a great deal. Now, back on key uh, market times, the U.S. is not or no longer in control. There was a time not too many years ago, as the U.S. went, the rest of the world markets went. And that is no longer the case. And now we break up the market essentially into three segments. We have the uh, Asian session, which is what we're in right now. We've already made a trade, by the way. 
And the hours, uh, as we define them, are from 5 p.m. till midnight. And all the times that I'm going to uh, talk about and mention are central times. And uh, the two markets that are basically dominating during that session, and when I say dominate, what we're looking for are markets that move the S&Ps. Now, the uh, two markets are the Hang Seng and the Nikkei. The Nikkei opens first around 7 o'clock central time, and then the uh, Hang Seng opens at 8.15. And once they uh, get into uh, the European session, then the European session starts to basically control, especially the German market, or like we uh, fondly refer to as the DAX. And uh, the DAX and the FTSE are the two markets that will affect the S&Ps. And again, that's what we're looking for because we're only trading the E-mini S&Ps. We're looking for those financial markets and those international markets that will uh, affect and move the S&Ps. We just have to figure out uh, when and whether it's up and down. All right, so the key market times for uh, what we do at night are generally 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And the Globex trading hours are from 3.30 to 8.30, and uh, essentially that's the broad definition of the Globex. But uh, as I said earlier, the S&Ps, as many of you know, they close at 3.15, then they reopen at 3.30, they close down again at 4.15, then they open at 5, and 5 starts the new trading day and resets your platforms and your margins and what have you. So if you believe, as I do, that we're in a 24-hour market, if you're not following the Globex, or if you're not understanding how this market works, you're missing 17 hours of information in trading. That's a lot of information when you consider a 24-hour market. And uh, examples that I like to use uh, is, for example, if you go to a movie and you walk in the middle of the movie, well, you're going to miss a lot. And that's uh, the same way it is with this Globex and if you're trying to trade the 24-hour market. Even if you're not trading, even if you're just an investor, it's, it's absolutely important that you understand what goes on now in these markets. And, and you don't have to be uh, a rocket scientist, even though we have one in our, in our group, to uh, understand these markets. In fact, because of the system we've, we've developed over the years, We've made it very easy to navigate these markets, understand, and find your way around. Then we have a chat room uh, that uh, we're not going to talk too much about tonight where we call trades. And uh, so uh, we call it our after hours family. It's a group of folks. We get together every night. We have a live chat room, and we're in there all night uh, helping each other. And I'm calling trades. And uh, we have our resident rocket scientists. We're probably the only chat room in the country that has a real NASA rocket scientist in the room working with us. And uh, he goes a long way towards developing numbers and slides because, you know, he's a real numbers guy. And also we have our proprietary indicators, which uh, are tailored to the overnight market. And as I said earlier, I've spent years developing these indicators. And uh, essentially, the way they came about is I would uh, watch these markets. And as I observed and learned something that uh, worked 80% of the time, then I, I would adopt it. As many of you know, nothing works 100% of the time. And you find something that works 80% of the time, you know, you can make good money if uh, you have a discipline to accompany that. All right, so we have the proprietary indicators that I spent uh, years developing. They're pivot times. They're the international markets that we just talked about. One of our major primary indicators is the dome, which uh, many of you know and have on your platforms. It's an order entry uh, mechanism, and dome stands for, if you're not familiar with that term, depth of market. And then we look at the other markets, such as the bond, the yen, the euro, any financial markets that may affect and move the S&Ps. Now, it's not always going to be the same market every night. Some nights we'll find that the bonds are uh, affecting the S&Ps some nights here lately, especially lately, the yen has been a major uh, mover of the S&Ps for the obvious reasons, because as Japan continues to stimulate, 
the yen weakens. As the yen weakens, the Asian markets rally. As the Asian markets rally, the uh, U.S. markets and the European markets follow. And uh, before the yen, it was the euro for pretty much the same reason. So for a while there, the euro was having a dramatic effect on these S&Ps. Now, we talked a little bit about uh, these Greekisms, and again, that's a, a, a term given by a lot of friends of mine. And the Greekisms are essentially signals. They're, they're broad indicators, not real specific indicators like the one I just, ones I just mentioned. And this is uh, results of you know 23 years of following these markets, watching these markets. And there's about 15 of them, and they're basically proprietary trade setups. And you know, I'm not going to get into all 15 of them, obviously, tonight. We'll do that in the course. But just to give you an example, uh, one of them, which is uh, Greekism number 11, again, uh, signal 11. It's an overnight short squeeze, and it's one of my favorite setups. And we might even see that see something like that uh, this Friday, which I doubt. But normally. Let's say you have bad news, especially on a Friday, like the employment numbers that we just talked about. The number comes in worse than expected. And you'll see this quick drop in the S&Ps. And then uh, they you know, may hover around and move sideways for a couple of hours. And sometime, usually after lunch, uh, they'll start to rally this market. The volume's thinner on a Friday afternoon. And you'll see them. Uh, after we've had bad news, I'm sure you're scratching your head trying to figure out how we could have a employment number that came out so weak and yet the market's rallying into the close. And essentially, they'll uh, rally it, and if it closes at the top tick of the last hour of trading, that is usually a very high percentage trade where we take a short position into that top tick into the close, we carry it over the weekend, and then on Sunday night when the S&Ps open at 5 p.m., and all the times uh, that I you know, talk about in this program are central times because I'm just not smart enough to convert real quick to the Eastern and Pacific. And then you know, we have folks in our group that are even you know, from overseas, Europe, Ireland, you name it, um, uh, Asia. But it, back on this uh, Greekism number 11, when the market opens at 5, you know, they'll generally uh, recorrect that move, and there's you know two or three points that can be made. Now, if there's uh, bad news over the weekend, then we can really get a lot of bang for our buck. And so that is again one of my favorite trade setups. Another one, which is uh, Greekism number eight, is uh, the Monday. And I don't know how many of you've noticed this. I'm sure some of you have. The Monday following options expiration week is usually up in the morning. It doesn't mean it's going to be up all day. Doesn't mean it's going to be up in the Globex all night. The S when I say it, meaning the S and P's, but typically, at some point, these uh, S and P's are going to start to rally, recognizing that they're going to open up Monday morning because there's still a lot of settlement that's taking place from Friday options expiration. Now, the way that's useful to you that if you're trading in the Globex and let's say uh, maybe you were short and you're up a couple of points, the fact that you know it, at some point during the course of the evening or early in the morning this market's going to start to stabilize and look towards opening up into that Monday options expiration. Again, uh, that uh, information can be very useful when you're trading in this market at night. Uh, that, that information is totally uh, useless to you for the most part trading in the day session because you're going to get the gap up. And of course, if uh, you're waiting for it to open during the day session, you, the gap up's not going to do you that much good. Your uh, most of your money's going to be made, you know, getting long into that gap before it ever opens. And the fourth uh, leg of our program, if you will, is the money management, or as I like to call it, the great separator. Now, we spend a lot of time on money management, and I believe, as most of you should that money management is as important as your trading discipline and uh, your trading techniques that you may uh, or should be following. Uh, without money management, I am fairly certain you're going to find it very difficult to make money. And a lot of the mistakes that uh, we see are uh, 
the biggest one, and I'm guilty of this, I admit it, is uh, overtrading. I can't tell you how many times, you know, we've hit our numbers at night in the Globex only to give it back at some point in the markets during the day. And uh, trying to hit home runs, of course, is another. Not withdrawing your profits on a regular basis, you know, maybe trying to, uh, another word is get greedy. And uh, trading either too many or not enough contracts. One of the biggest uh, issues that we deal with and that we try to communicate to our folks that trade with us all the time in this in this market or any market for that matter. I believe this this can apply and, and many of these apply during the day as well is that uh, you know whatever number of contracts you're trading whether it's two, four, six, we always encourage our folks to trade multiple contracts because it gives them more flexibility and you know, one day you're trading two contracts, and then maybe later in the evening you're you're putting on five because you're feel, feeling better, or a little more confident, or you're down and you're trying to make up your losses is what usually takes place. And you add on and you and you trade uh, a bigger number of contracts. And my experience is is whatever number of contracts you're trading, you have to trade that same number of contracts on a consistent basis. If you don't, you're going to find it very difficult to be successful on a consistent basis, and that's what's important to us is that you know you're 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 making money on a consistent basis. Now, many of the folks in our room, uh, as part of our after-hours family, the vast majority of them are in here to supplement their income, and the way we go about that is is that uh, we ask them to set a goal. That's one of the first things we ask and teach you to do. So let's just say your goal is $2,000 a month, and you assume there's an average of 20 trading days out of each month. Obviously, then you have to make $100 a day. Now, you're going to have you know some nights where you have losing trades, so you may need to make 125 maybe even average 150 But what we're trying to do here is help you reach that goal. You determine the goal. What we're trying to do is help you reach it uh, night after night after night. And we've done a pretty good job of that, uh, and we've been very consistent over the years. So if you don't have a consistent money management program, then uh, I've got to tell you, you're going to struggle. So what we do is we, we tell our folks, you treat this as a job. You learn the process. Of course, you minimize your risk. You don't overtrade. Your goal is to take a weekly or monthly profit from your account, and it's kind of like Pavlov's dog. Excuse me a second. It's like Pavlov's dog, if you remember him. You know, if you uh, are rewarding yourself each and uh, uh, every week or month on a regular basis, it helps you maintain that discipline. And trust me, I've learned that the hard way. I will also tell you that if you're a, uh, and I hope I don't offend anyone, that you're trading, you know, for the adrenaline uh, rush or you're what I call a, a, a S and P cowboy. I don't think you'll find this program to be that exciting, because again, uh, we're in here trying to hit singles. We're trying to supplement income, and we're trying to be consistent in what we recommend and what we do. So. In summary, what we do at Night Scalper is that uh, we have key market times that are very important because if you don't know when these markets open and close, uh, the markets in Asia go on break. You need to know when that takes place. For example, uh, there's a lot of volatility in the S&Ps just before the German uh, futures open or the DAX as we refer to it between 12.30 and 1 a.m. If you don't know that, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble if you're trading in this market. Then we have the proprietary indicators that I have spent years and years developing and I have a lot of confidence in. Then we have the signals, uh, which are you know broad events to look for in these markets from time to time, or Greekisms, if you will. There's some 15 of those. And then, uh, as we just talked about, the money management system. And earlier, I talked about a chat room where we have a, uh, a live chat room, and we uh, are in there literally most of the night. Uh, usually, Mike and I, who is our resident rocket scientist, 
we're in there helping you find trades. We're in there to uh, provide you with a, if you will, a comfortable crutch to lean on. Even though we're going to teach you everything we know so that you can trade these markets you know, uh, on your own if that's what you choose to do, a lot of folks find it uh, very comforting to have someone who's been doing it a long time help, helping them find trades in the room. But more importantly, it's like a community. And you're not sitting off in some dark room by yourself trying to figure out uh, what the markets are going to do. You're in there with a group of like-minded traders. And I will tell you, the folks in our room uh, are very helpful. They want to help you succeed. And a lot of these folks will become your good friends. I can promise you that. So uh, the screen, just real quick, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. This is uh, kept by our, our resident rocket scientist who, being an engineer, you know, as he likes to tell me, the numbers speak for themselves. And, you know, it's black and white as it is with most engineers. There are no gray areas. I mean, you know, when he's doing these, uh, these numbers and these charts, posting our uh, trades every night, I mean, he'll fight me for a quarter of a point. But, you know, we average somewhere around $950 a month. Now, the way you understand this chart is if you made every trade that we called, in other words, you didn't, you know, you can't trade on Tuesday night and go out to dinner with your friends. Went well, you can, but you know, if you don't trade Wednesday night, you miss some trades, and then you come back in and trade Thursday night. Uh, that's fine. That's your lifestyle, and that's what the benefit of the Globex is: is it gives you flexibility and a, a time to trade when uh, normally you might be working. And that's it. That is another very added benefit to trading at night. Most of you probably have jobs or things that keep you busy during the day, and it's hard to focus on the markets. And you can focus more, as I have found, on this uh, market at night, providing you can find some quiet space in your home and uh, focus on the markets. But we have the chat room. We're very proud of the chat room. And we have some of the greatest folks uh, in that chat room that you will ever meet. They become uh, very uh, uh, close. And as I said, uh, we refer to them as our after-hours family. So it's, 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 as I said earlier, you don't have to be uh, a rocket scientist. We like to make fun of Mike. Um, most people, when they, they hear what we do, they think, they think OK, I, I don't want to learn to speak Japanese. Uh, I don't want to have to understand the equivalent GDP of, of uh, uh, China versus the U.S. and how that's calculated. Uh, I don't, uh, you know, I don't want to know what the equivalent of our confidence numbers are uh, in Germany, which is the IFO numbers. Uh, we teach you that. It's easy. It's uh, there are websites within a matter of two minutes you can go to, get all this information you need. And as I said earlier, if you go back to uh, Greenspan and his comment about irrational exuberance. Had we known that uh, that fine fella was uh, talking that night, and, uh, you know, we we might have been a little bit more careful because we've learned that when there's a ECB official, when there's a Bernanke, when there's a, a Draghi uh, in Europe, when there's an Abe in Japan or a Carne in uh, in the UK. We're very careful because we know they're going to say something that's going to encourage the markets. You know, you're never going to hear these guys come out, of course, Greenspan did with his irrational exuberance, which shocked the entire world and the markets at the time. I just don't think you're going to hear most of these guys come out and say anything that would be negative and affect the markets in a negative way. So this is, again, with our, our process and just a little bit of education, and education, as many of you know, is the key to successful trading. Uh, with our process and, and a little education, it's not difficult to learn to trade these markets. And again, I want to leave you with this, and I mean this as sincerely as anything I can say tonight. Uh, if, if I say anything that is important, if you want to learn to trade futures, this is the market, this is the place to do it. Because again, you just have a better, uh, it's an easier market. It's a slower trending market, and you don't have these computer buy and sell programs that are just, you know, made some of these markets so difficult to trade. So uh, having said that, I think uh, 
Hubert's going to spend a few minutes with you and, and tell you about a package that uh, he's put together for us. And then I'll come back on and answer any questions. All right. So here's what we've done. Um, Bill and his team came down and spent a couple days with me and showed me uh, their methodology of trading and how they trade. And it's all based upon trading the Globex markets from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Now, we obviously know that this will not be a fit for everyone, but, um, you know, I'm a huge fan of trading gold in the overnight session and bonds and stuff like that. I also mess around with the Dow some and some, and some crude oil, and I also do some DAX and some Euro stocks and stuff like that. So I'm a big believer in, in getting positioned in the overnight market and riding it into the next day for some, you know, some good profits. So what they've done is they've, uh, they're going to teach you a course based upon what they came down here and taught me about what they do in Globex. So it's called Night Scalper 101. The course will be August the 5th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. And here's what you'll learn. They're going to give you an intro to the 24-hour market cycle so that you know the reversal times, like, when the different, you know, overnight, you know, like, when you're going to know when Sydney, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Moscow, London, all those markets open up, and you're going to know how to kind of deal with that situation. Uh, the important time zones and the pivots, uh, money management techniques, uh, and then you're also going to find out how to enter your trades, the stops and the targets. And you'll have some confidence in that area so that you know which trades have a higher probability of working out. They're going to show you their best low-risk, high-reward trade setups, and they'll, they'll share with you their useful tools and websites for trading Globex. So on the last webinar, we, make it, we made it available to the first 100 buyers. I will tell you that most of those are gone. We'll make the same offer to you here on the, the nightly webinar, first 100 orders uh, for attendees only. You can go to the, the price for the course that they are offering it to you at a substantial discount is $47, okay? And I know they're going to raise the price of the course because this is a discounted price that, that I've got out of them for uh, the Night Scalper 101. Okay, so I know they'll probably raise it to, I think, 197, uh, maybe more, but I know I'm going to recommend they raise it to, to 197 after they do the promotion with me. That way you get a big discount and everybody else has to pay more money for it. So um, nightscalper.com forward slash yes. I'm going to put the... Uh, I'm going to put the link up here in the room and then we're going to take some questions okay so there is the link for you you can also call the office you can call our office we'll help you out we'll put the order in for you if you don't want to do it yourself um, and you can call that number it is a code 859-963-3445 area code 859-963-3445 area code 859-963-3445 all right so what type of questions do you have for Bill? Type them in here, and uh, I'll read them off to you, and then he'll 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 answer them for you. Uh, I was a little late, and I missed the part of the webinar. Is it being recorded? And can I get a copy? Yeah, we always record everything, but no no promises on copies of anything. Uh, will the slides be available? These slides they'll be in the recording, but we won't keep the recording up forever. Um, what percentage of the overnight trades are from the Asian session? That'll be for you, Bill. What what percentages of the nightly trades that you do are from the Asian session? Well, again, that's going to depend on uh, what's taking place in the markets and uh, uh, how they're moving. But it's about equal for the most part. We'll generally have uh, two to three trades every night. The vast majority of the folks that trade with us, you know, trade between five and midnight. In fact, tonight we got short right at around uh, the close. We sold that top tick that I told you about in the last hour of trading. We got short at 17.02 and a quarter, and then they bought them back at 17.50. So uh, we already made a trade early before the Asian markets even opened. Is my point, but it's 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 about. Uh, equal, but the majority of folks that trade with us trade, you know, from five to midnight. Only about twenty-five or thirty percent of the folks in the room, you know, stay up and burn the midnight oil with us. What time East Coast is five p.m. Central uh, Central Time? Um, that'd be six o'clock, right? Yeah, it'd be right. six. It's only an hour difference. Yeah, East Coast is about an hour ahead of us. Yep. Uh, do you trade the normal market hours as well as or only the after-hour market? 
Now, th this program, I personally trade during the day, but this program is strictly for after-hours trading. That's our focus. That's our specialty. That's where we find uh, our, our uh, success. Okay. Um, is the two-hour Night Scalper 101 webinar sufficient to provide info needed to trade successfully, or will there be a, another program after that? Um, you will gain a great deal of information in the uh, 101 course, and then we have uh, other courses that we teach that uh, you may want to consider, and we also have the chat room. But um, there is a lot of information in this uh, 101 course. It's two hours, and it's uh, I like to think it's intense. But you're going to hear about, uh, for the most part, probably indicators or time zones and pivots and you know how the Globex is different from the market during the day. You know, a lot of things you've never heard before, I would think. Okay, I noticed you are now trading Sunday nights on your promotional email. Your service is now five nights a week. Do you currently sometimes put on a position without an immediate stop bill? Uh, our folks are generally um, quick to put on stops. I mean, you have to understand in the chat room, you're, you're controlling your trades. But we encourage everyone, the minute they put on a trade, to put a stop on. And we usually use two-point stops at night because uh, you can probably, you know, for the most part, be successful with two-point stops in the after hours or Globex market. Uh, two points in uh, today's market means nothing during the day session. So, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, sorry, sorry, Bill. Sorry to catch up. In the, in, the, in the course, in Night Scalper 101, will there be examples of trades? Yes. Okay. Um, does the course include the indicators? Uh, to a degree, um, as we progress, we get deeper into the, uh, the, the other indicators. And, you know, we have a... Uh, the full course is also available, and you know again, it, this is not difficult uh, material to learn. We've made it very easy to learn, and I think uh, if you talk to some of the folks who've been part of our program, they will uh, bear that out. Okay, let's see here. Next question: um, uh, Will the course be recorded if you can't attend on that night? Yes, it will. It will. It will be recorded. Um, and you will have access to it if you order the course. You'll have a a a resource page that you put a password into, and they'll they'll be recording it and posting it so that you can view it at a later time. Uh, when do you sleep? Is a question. You know, I get that question a lot. That's probably the most frequently asked questions. And uh, uh, you know, I my dad had a restaurant with a bar, and I I, I guess this is where this came from. And as I was going to college, you know, I worked there, and a lot of nights I would uh, close up. So I've always been kind of a night owl, and, you know, I, I have this fortunate ability where I can take a 45-minute or one-hour nap, and I'm ready to go. So I can't nap, and, uh, you know, if, if the markets are slow, you know, we may take a little uh, nap. But, you know, either Mike or I uh, are in the room at all times. So there's always one of us, there's always someone there very experienced that understands what we do and uh, knows the stuff backwards and forwards that's in the room and helping you uh, navigate this market at night and in the early mornings. Okay, let's see here. What is your drawdown frequency and recovery? Uh, we have a slide for that, uh, and Mike can furnish that. Uh, to you, so if you will send uh, Hubert uh, your email or send it to us at Night Scalper, I'm sure Mike will be able to provide you with uh, uh, that information. He's, uh, as I said, being a, an engineer and a numbers guy, he's he's created slides that I didn't even know you could create. So he'll have something to that effect. I feel certain. Uh, Hubert, can we call in our order at the number you provided? Yeah, you can call area code 859-963-3445. Kelly or Jared, either one will help you place the order. Yes. 
uh, is the forty-seven dollar a one-time fee? Yes, for the Night Scalper one hundred and one, it's forty-seven dollar one-time fee. Um, wouldn't orbs be the best indicator to use? Orbs is fine. I mean, it's, uh, they've got a different methodology than orbs, so it's it's more of they have a res theirs is more of a, a a pattern recognition system that they have done over reversal times. Um, is there a let me uh, I got that one. Do you have a promo discount um, for Night Scalper Pro? Well, this this webinar is really just for Night Scalper 101, is what we're talking about there. Uh, do you have any deals on a daytime trading course? Do you, do you have any daytime trading courses? No. Uh, we, we, we do not uh, have any courses that teach you to trade uh, during the day. There are a lot of good folks that do that. Uh, and uh, a lot of good programs. I doubt you will find anyone that is uh, uh, teaching the Globex the way we teach it. Uh, yes, there's a lot of folks who teach you how to trade currencies in the overnight market, but that's really a 24-hour market. Uh, our focus is trading the S&Ps in this Globex, and you know I promise you it's a different market because you know you're crossing uh, several time zones, and you know you're going from uh, Asia over to Europe. Again, I know it sounds complicated and difficult, but the way we've developed the course and the way you know we break down our systems, we've made it very easy to learn and simple to use. And the reason for that is, is I'm a very simple-minded fellow, and I had to have it simple for my own use. All right, cool. Can we phone in our order tonight or tomorrow? Um, you can. I just don't know if the seats will still be available because I'm only I'm only allowed to uh, offer you a uh, hundred slots. At this webinar and 100 slots at the earlier webinar, so it's a combination of only 200 slots. So I can't promise that there will be slots available for you. What is the cost? It's $47. Uh, will we be able to trade on our own after the class, or do we need to take another course or join the trading room? Uh, the course is designed to get you up to snuff on the entire concept of the overnight Globex market. So you will have a a really good uh, example of what it takes and what you need to trade the uh, the the Globex market. So you you'll be okay there. Obviously, if you want more training and more materials, you can do that at a later time. Here's a question: Do you use Fib retracements? No. What exactly will be taught in the course? Give me your top. Give me the, your top three things that you'll be teaching them in the course. Well, uh, it's important uh, that you understand the time zones and these pivot times when these markets open and close. Uh, money management, as I said earlier, is critical. Uh, finding trade entries and targets and using your stops efficiently. And uh, you know, this is a program where we're looking for low risk uh, trades and you'll get the, uh, the tools and the websites you need that are very helpful to trade in this market. So this will give you a uh, real foundation to understand and trade in this market. Okay, let's see here. Uh, just signed up for Bill's course. Maybe similar to some of my previous readings at DTI. I recognize Bill from that. Yep, Bill used to be at DTI. He's going out on his own now. That's why they started the website, not Scalper. Um, what exact? Are you ready to care of what's covered in the course? What's the cost of the course? Forty-seven dollars one-time fee. Um, let me see here. Is there an auto trade option? Uh, actually, there is, um, because you know a lot of folks uh, believe in the program. They see how well it works. And you can uh, you can imagine that you know, especially those who work during the day, uh, they have they have jobs, and it's hard to stay up all night. And a lot of times, you know, we may. Uh, have a losing trade in Asia only to make it back and then some in, in Europe because these markets you know are all they're not going to always move in the same direction at all times and uh, so uh, out of that was a request uh, from a lot of the members of our room that we have an auto trade system where we put the orders in for them and we have uh, a very uh, sophisticated program uh, through our CTA for that and that is a whole different uh, Discussion, if you will. Let's see here. Got that covered. If not proprietary, what time frames do they use? 
proprietary. We, time frame like in a chart, is that what you're asking for, or are you talking about like reversal times? I don't understand your question, so just rephrase it for us if you don't mind. Uh, can I trade from the indicators, or are there other factors to enter the trade? Once you, uh, you've gained an understanding of the indicators, they give you a, a, uh, a tremendous tool in which to trade and understand these markets. Again, I know it's hard to, to you know, comp, uh, comprehend, but this market at night is a very different market than the market during the day. For example, one of our uh, most useful and uh, proprietary indicators is the dome. And we have found that uh, that dome just does not work before uh, five in the afternoon, and uh, you know, after five in the morning, it just doesn't work uh, well in those time zones because you know the volume picks up dramatically, and it's just not as efficient, and it's just you know moves too quick to use it as an indicator. But at night, it, it is a fabulous indicator and, and very reliable. Okay, so all right, so there's the follow-up question. Do you use a 15-minute, a 5-minute, a tick chart? What time frame, time or tick frame charts are you using? Uh, we don't really use any tick charts when we trade at night. We have uh, support and resistance numbers that we uh, develop watching the market. In fact, a lot of the numbers that uh, some of the folks use to trade during the day are numbers that they have uh, picked up on by watching the market trade at night. A couple of nights ago, 86 to 87 area was a tremendous overhead area, and that held up uh, not only at night, but held up for uh, during the, the bulk of the day session as well. So a lot of the support and resistance numbers that uh, the folks use who trade during the day, they uh, get those numbers at night or in the early morning trading, you know, the European session, which gives them a, a huge advantage in, in itself. Uh, I, I spend a great deal of time, you know, uh, developing these numbers during the course of a month. And so uh, we use uh, support and resistance numbers, uh, and uh, that's how we, part of, you know, the way we trade this market at night. Uh, like tonight, we thought 1702 would be temporary overhead. So, you know, we shorted that right into the close because we had that little run up into the close. And we felt like, you know, temporarily 1700 is support. So we got out at 1700.50. Here's a good question. Can you start with just one contract? What size account do we need to start with? And what is the maximum number of contracts that you recommend that, to trade? That's an excellent question, uh, all three uh, aspects of that question. Um, yes, you can trade one contract. We encourage you because it's a slower market. You know, for example, if you're a one contract trader during the day to trade two contracts, because in our money management system, uh, it gives you a lot more flexibility on entering and exiting trades and where you place your stops. Uh, and, you know, most platforms, it depends on your platform, but the majority of them, you can trade one contract for $500. Now, I don't, I don't uh, encourage you to do that because if, you know, you lose 30, 40 bucks, they'll shut you down. But you should have at least two grand in the account to trade one contract. Uh, so it gives you a little, uh, you know, margin and room for error. But the, the, the requirements by most of the platforms is to have 500 per one contract e mini that you want to trade. Mm -hmm. uh, what, pl what, platform does, what platform do your indicators work on? Uh, our indicators work with any platform. As long as you have a dome, uh, you have to have, if you're not in our chat room, because we, we uh, project these... Uh, quotes on the Hang Seng and the Nikai, the DAX and the FTSE. So you have to have, to do this successfully, you have to have real-time uh, quotes, Asian quotes. Uh, the CME quotes are not going to uh, work efficiently. You need the quotes from the Singapore exchange on the Hang Seng and the Nikai, and we, as I said, project those in the chat room. If you're not part of the chat room, you're going to have to get those quotes real-time, 10-minute delay can cost you money because just like last night, as I said earlier, when the Chinese PMI number came out, these S&Ps jumped four points in a matter of minutes. So a 10-minute delay that you can get for free on most websites is, is, is not going to be efficient. And you'll spend anywhere from $25 to $50 a month with uh, most of the platforms we're aware of to get real-time 
uh, Asian quotes or Singapore quotes, most platforms give you the DAX and the FTSE. They, they incorporate that now. With Most all of them have that at no extra charge. But as I said, we project uh, those markets in our chat room. That's part of our service. Uh, okay. Let's see. Do you have a um, – so, yeah, after you take the course, guys, they will give you the opportunity. I, th I think there's another – Thing that you can you can order if you want, um, but after you take the course, if you guys want to do the trade room thing, obviously you can look at that. Right now, we're trying to focus on getting you some good solid education on on Night Scalper 101, so you can see if if you if this thing appeals to you, so that if you can do it, and then if you do, if you want to if you want to try their room and stuff, they'll make you uh, a pretty good offer on the room and stuff like that. So we're trying to do it in a nice one two step. Hey, you see if you like this, if you like this, you can go to the next step. Okay. All right. Do you have a free trial for that? Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's see. Any other questions pertaining to the system? It is going to the course is going to be Night Scalper 101. You go to nightscalper.com forward slash yes, and then um, you just you know, fill in your order information there on the order page. You can also call us at the office. That number is area code eight five nine nine six three three. Four four five area code eight five nine nine six three three four four five. All right. Any other questions for Bill and his strategies and methodologies, or about the course? I've got one here on Hubert. Are you going to do the good night gold trade? GC is down over three points as of now. Uh, I probably will, but I'm already short gold as of two nights ago, so I'm already swing short. But yeah, I can always add to it. Okay. Oh, here's another one. Hold on. I just saw one that I missed earlier. Oh, do I also need the histogram on the dome? Uh, not necessarily, but uh, it's some find it useful. Um, uh, I, I personally don't use it. We have a, uh, uh, again, created by our resident rocket scientist, he took the dome where we used to have to, you know, sort of read it manually, and he created a uh, slide bar. It's really kind of neat. We call it the dome-o-matic, which uh, we project uh, again in the room, and that's a useful tool. If uh, you know if the projection goes down for five minutes, everybody sort of kind of panics <laughs> until he gets it back up. But uh, you know, uh, uh, the histogram can be helpful for some. I personally don't use it. All right. Uh, thank you, Hubert. Thank you, Bill. Looking forward to the course signed up. Thank you very much. Um, got a lot of other good positive comments, people signing up, looking forward to the course. So I will be out of town next week. I'm taking my kids down to, is it Disneyland or, I don't know, whichever one's in Florida. Um, Disneyland, during Disney World, I don't know. I just know I have to go. Um, so I won't be there for the recording. I've already taken a lot of Bill's information on Night Scalper 101. And I know I know probably about 80% of it, but I'll still be viewing the recording when I get back. Um, I know that we'll be recording it, so if you if you if you want to go ahead and buy the course, or if you're going to be out of town, or if you can't view it at that time, you can buy access to the course. It'll be a recording. They'll have a resource page, and then you can go from there. Uh, Disney World. There you go. Thank you. Uh, in NKD is on toss. Can we trade from that index? That's that's the uh, quote feed from the CME, and that is not uh, that will not give you the information you need. Um, I've tried it, and it's just not uh, as real time as the quotes from the Singapore Exchange. You truly, uh, if you're going to trade this market, especially during the Asian session, you have to have these Singapore fees. And as I said, we project that as part of the uh, uh, program in the chat room. And so uh, you know, you, you, you it's. All right, cool. All right, so one, uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. So can we really trade this on our own, or do we need to be in the chat room to be effective? Here's what I would do. I would take the course, and then I would do a trial in their trading room. And at that point, you can get most of your questions asked and answered. And then if you end up staying because you're getting more value for your money than what you're investing, then I would stay. That's the, that's the process I would do, like, if you're going to uh, try somebody's services out, 
you know, take one of their courses, see if you kind of, you know, if you jive with the same, uh, the same, you know, mentality, you know, are, do I groove with this or does it groove with me? And then at that point, if you want to do a trial to the room, you can obviously do that. And, and, and then you guys can take, take your all's relationship to see if you're a good fit for each other. That's how I would do it if you guys are interested in trading the Globex. Um, had another question. I'm a beginning futures trader. Is it, is it better to start at the night or the day session to learn how to trade futures? That's uh, where I have a very strong opinion. I've been teaching this course now for a long time. I don't know how many people I've taught this course to and taught folks to trade the, these markets. I promise you this, and I, as I said earlier, you don't make too many promises in this business. If you want to learn to trade futures, the Globex or the after hours market is the place to do it. Just like I said before, it's a slower market. It's more of a trending market. You don't have that chop that you have during the day. And uh, you don't have those buy and sell uh, computer programs like you have during the day. And it just is it's a, it's a great place to learn to trade futures. Uh, in my mind, if, if, you, if you, you know, that's what you want to do, the Globex is the place to start. There's no doubt about it. Because like I said, I've just talked to many people now. And, and, and I know this uh, to be true. Okay, so, so um, some clarifications here on the bookkeeping side of things. We've got some people signing up saying they're getting emails and confirmations. So the Night Scalper 101 course starts August the 5th. August the 5th. It's from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. you got got 100 slots available for this webinar. Okay, on this webinar we're doing right now. You're going to learn the intro to 24-hour market cycles, the important time zones and pivots, money management techniques, they're going to teach you how to find the entries, the stops, and the targets with confidence, low-risk, high-reward trade setups, and they're going to show you useful tools and websites for trading Globex, all for the low price of $47. I know they will be increasing the price soon on the course, and it will be nightscalper.com forward slash yes. Nightscalper.com forward slash yes. I know you can hear Kelly and Jared taking orders in the background. You can call area code 859 nine six three three four four five if your order's not going through we'll help you place their order on through their website or their order system uh the is the es in the globex real time on toss it should be yes all right folks just a few more minutes here we're a little bit over time i'm gonna a couple more questions here and then we're going to turn you loose so, I mean, we've got the Globex market open right now so that you could trade. Uh, I think it's a cool concept. I mean, they've got a, a cool product, a cool course, different than most stuff that's taught out there. And then they also have the follow-up of, of the trading room if you guys want to take them up on that one too. So um, that's it for us tonight. Thanks for showing up on the webinar. We do appreciate it. Bill, thank you, and I'll see you on the next webinar. Thank you, Hubert, and we want to thank you folks for uh, sharing your evening with us. All right, guys, good luck. Hope it helps. See you on the next webinar, and I'll see you on the trading videos. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.